Let us have theorem number 2. If a tangent segment and secant segment are drawn to a circle from an exterior point, then the square of the length of the tangent segment is equal to the product of the lengths of the secant segment and its external secant segment. Let's have an example. From the given figure, the square tangent segment st is equal to the product of the secant segment nt and external secant segment ot. We will form the equation in this manner based on the theorem number 2. Let us give a value of each segment to show the relationship. Let us substitute their given value. For tangent segment st, we have 6 squares is equal to the secant segment nt is equal to 9 multiplied by external secant segment ot with the value of 4. Let us get their product. 6 square is 36 is equal to 9 times 4 is equal to 36. This shows the square of the length of the tangent segment is equal to the product of the lengths of the secant segment and its external secant segment. Let us have an example wherein there is a missing length. Let us have example number 1. From the given figure, the tangent segment is ct then square it, is equal to the product of the secant segment and the external secant segment. The secant segment is line ht multiplied by the external segment, ot. Let us substitute their given values. For tangent segment ct, we have 8 squares, is equal to secant segment ht with the value of 16 is multiplied by external secant ot with the value of x. Let's now get their product. 8 square is 64, is equal to 16 times x is equal to 16x. To find the value of x we need to divide 16 into both sides of the equation. Then, we have 64 divided by 16 is equal to 4, is equal to 16x divided by 16 equals 1x or x or simply cancels 16 and the remaining is x. Therefore, x is equal to 4 or the length of the external secant is 4. Let us have example number 2. The given is tangent segment RT. Then square it is equal to the product of secant segment MT multiplied by external secant segment OT. Let us substitute their values. For the length of the tangent segment, RT is 6 squares, is equal to, for secant segment MT, since it is a secant, we need to add 5 plus X as its length. For the external secant segment, we have X. Let us now get their product. 6 square is equal to 36, is equal to, we need to distribute the X inside the parenthesis. So, the product is 5X plus X square. So, we have a product of 36, is equal to, let us arrange the terms in descending exponent. x square plus 5x. Let us transpose 36 to the other sides of the equation by adding the inverse of positive 36. The inverse of positive 36 is negative 36. Therefore, we add both sides of the equation by negative 36. Negative 36 plus 36. Since they are different in sign. Therefore, it proceed to subtraction. 36 minus 36 is equal to 0 is equal to x square plus 5x minus 36. As you can see it's a quadratic equation. You can use any method in solving a quadratic equation that you know. But for now, I will use the factoring method. The factors of the equation x square plus 5x minus 36 is x plus 9 multiplied by x minus 4. Let us now equate the factors to 0. We have x plus 9 is equal to 0 and x minus 4 is equal to 0. For x plus 9 is equal to 0. To get the value of x we transpose positive 9 into the other side of the equation. Then we x is equal to negative 9. For x minus 4 is equal to 0. To get the value of x we transpose negative 4 into the other side of the equation. Then, we have x is equal to positive 4. Since we are getting the length of an external secant segment. From the two values of x choose the positive 4 as the solution or the missing length, because there is no negative length. Therefore, the length of the external secant segment is 4. Let us have the last example. Example number 3. From the given figure, we form the equation. Tangent secant qr square is equal to the secant segment t is multiplied by the external secant sr. Let us substitute their value. For tangent segment qr we have x squares is equal to 
secant segment TR with the value of 24 plus 3 multiplied by the exterior secant segment SR with the value of 3. Let us get their product. So, we have x square is equal to. We need to distribute 3 inside the parenthesis. So, we have a product of 72 plus 9. Let us simplify. So, we have x square is equal to 72 plus 9 is equal to 81. To find the value of x, we need to remove the square by adding the square root on both sides of the equation. Then we have cancel the radical sign and the square. So, the remaining is x is equal to the square root of 81 is equal to 9. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 9. Will you try this exercises? The answer will reveal at the end of the video. For more videos on mathematics, please don't forget to subscribe.